This is where we left off in the first part of the video. We created that old photo. For the next stage, we're going to bring in a hand to hold the old photo. And the hand I've got is, uh, yeah, it's mine. Took it with one hand on the camera, the other hand held up to the sky. I did wait until there was uh, quite a large cloud there just to give it a little bit of a bland background, which is going to make the selection a little bit easier. So coming over to the toolbox, we're going to be using the quick selection tool. I've got the add to selection. I've got a 125 pixel brush. If we just take a look, the hardness is set to zero and I've got the auto enhance that is ticked as well. Coming onto the image of the sky, we're going to come round it. It's actually beaten me to it. Coming round this area here, and it's beaten me to it again. Right, let's zoom in because I've got a couple of little bright spots here. So I'm going to use uh, spacebar with command or control. So that's spacebar, command or control. Clicking down, we can zoom into this part of the image here, and you'll now notice the brush is just a little bit too big. So holding the left hand square bracket. We can drop it down in size. Don't forget this is the add to selection. Just come in around that area, waiting for it to auto enhance itself. If you've got areas like this which you just want to tidy up, press Alt or Option, bring it in. That looks better like that. Just one little click. Yeah, that'll do. Right, coming up to this area, you can see it's just a bit big again. So use that left hand square bracket, taking it right down in size. Just pulling it out around that area, releasing it. Yep, that'll do nicely. Command 0, Control 0 to go to fit on screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up, we're going to go to select, we're going to go to inverse. That has now inverse the selection, taking my hand only. We're going to go to refined edges. Now with refined edges, let's zoom in. Let's use uh, spacebar, command or control again, and into this area here. That looks pretty good. Just pressing the spacebar to zoom our way around look at this part of the image. I'm going to change the view. Let's take a look at it on black and white. That tends to be my favorite. Pressing the spacebar. Yeah, that looks like it's done a pretty good job. And if we just change it back to on layer, just moving our way around. What about that area there? Well, I'm going to change it to smart radius. We're going to take the smart radius up. And as you start to take the smart radius up, you'll notice the way it thins out a bit. So I'm just going to drop it down into this position here, just taking it down even further. I'll tell you what, let's just go to one pixel. That looks pretty good. We got the refined edge brush as well, so I'm just going to click, drag it around that part. Nope, don't like that, so I'm going to use Command Z, Control Z to undo it. Leaving that as it is, coming around the rest of the picture. And yeah, that has done a pretty good job he says scrolling around right let's take a look at it again on black and white we're going to take a look at the smooth sound if we just bring that up you can see the way you smooth it out let's drop it down just going to give it a little bit of smoothing perhaps something like this something i do like to do i don't usually use the feather i don't usually use the contrast but the shift edge here that i do use let's go to the marching ants and i'll show you what i mean with this now if you take it right the way up to plus 100, look at the way that selection drops out. If you drop it into minus 100, you can see the way you can tighten that selection up. I want to tighten the selection, but nowhere near that amount. Perhaps something round about minus 15, 16. That looks good like that. We're going to go down to decontaminate colors, and we're going to select new layer. With all of these done, I'm going to click on OK, and there it is. And just scrolling down. Yeah, pretty good. Command 0, Control 0 to go to fit on screen. Pressing V on my keyboard will give me the move tool. We're now going to click down. I'm going to lift this up till we get to the tab there with our sailing ship on. I'm going to release it. There it is. My hand has arrived. Bring it into position. Something like this here would be pretty good. Perhaps something like that. Yeah. Right, OK. All we need to do now is we need to mask this in. But I've got a little bit of a cunning plan. And that cunning plan involves coming down to our old photo layer. I'm going to bring my cursor down. I'm going to press Command or Control. Look at the way that cursor changes. It gets a square on the back. That means it's going to make a selection. Clicking down. Don't forget, we still got our background layer selected. In fact, I'm going to change this. I'm going to call it Hand. 
which is what it is after all and we're now going to put a layer mask on it so clicking on add a layer mask great stuff the hand is gone I've left just my finger and thumbs there but if we come over to the mask if I use command I or control I that's command I control I we have now inverted the mask all we need to do now is paint back in my thumb I told you it was a bit of a cunning plan didn't I press in uh, yeah spacebar command or control let's zoom into this area here by the way all those uh, purple things I like to use smart guides just in case you were wondering what they were I've now picked up my pink brush. I've got a 15 pixel brush which is looking extremely small. In fact, if you right click, let's take the size of the brush up. Let's go to around about 100 pixels there. The hardness is set at 54. Let's just take it to about 50. I'm going to press enter or return to remove it. Clicking down. Whoops. All you need to do now is make sure you've got the colors right. So you want white as a foreground color. So you just love it when things like this happen round this area here and just coming up over my thumb there and round that part let's paint this in as we're going and up around here all of a sudden you can tell the concentration can't you round this part and up there just gently round the outside just to give it a little bit of a there it is brilliant stuff right let's zoom in and even closer again spacebar command or control will zoom me in I'm going to press X on the keyboard got it right this time I hope reducing the size of the brush down using that left hand square bracket drops it down in size and if we just come around that part just going to tighten up selection up selection I'm just going to tighten the mask up a little bit more sorry I'm a male can't multitask Let's think and do things at the same time speak and do things at the same time around that area like this and you can see I've got a little bit thin here so I'm going to press X on the keyboard so put white as a foreground color that will allow me now to paint in that part of my thumb there just giving that a little bit more yeah depth brilliant stuff that will do nicely using command zero control zero to go to fit on screen I like the way this is working um, something else I'd like to do is perhaps just make a little bit more contact with the picture itself. So if we come over to the layers panel, what we're going to do, notice that framework around the mask there. That means you're working on the mask. Now, if you click on the image here with the hand itself, you'll notice that framework has now come over. This means we are now working on the hand, the image part of the, that hand. I'm going to pick up the quick selection tool again going to make it bigger by using the right hand square bracket there it is still got the add to selection I'm going to click down on my thumb I'm going to drag it into that position there we're now going to use command J control J command J control J will copy that selection and you can see there it is it's pasted my thumb in on layer one right let's pick up the eraser tool with the eraser tool yeah got that nice and large in fact we can take that bigger again using the right hand square bracket going to click down I'm just going to come over that area just want to erase that part of it just coming back up to just below the frame level there it is so I've just got the tip of my thumb the reason for this is if we come up to the thumbnail itself or onto the layer if you double click that brings up layer styles we're going to apply a drop shadow clicking down that looks pretty good bringing my cursor out you can see I've got the move tool we can move that drop shadow around I just wanted to give a little bit of contact there with the photo so bringing it into this position what have we got we have got the opacity which I have dropped down I think the default is around about the 60 but I've dropped the opacity down to around about the 20 percent that would be pretty good the distance is set on 33 pixels you can see the angle and which will adjust if I click and move that like this up and down just moving it into areas like that right so I've got the size set on 51 pixel brilliant I'm gonna click OK right let's fold that about the way don't forget this is now a layer style it's set here you can double click if you want to bring this back and make any further adjustments 
there are adjustments I want to make to the coloring and the lighting on the hand now to do this because we've actually got a layer style here what we need to do is group these two layers together so all we need to do I've got the top layer here selected I'm going to press command or control and I'm going to click on the hand layer so now both are selected you can use command G or control G that's command G or control G or click on the folder that's going to group it together we're going to double click and I'll call this uh, hand because that's what it is. Right, let's make the panel a little bit bigger. We're going to put an adjustment layer. The adjustment layer we're going to be using is for levels. And if we just take a look at this, if you come over there, you can see it's going to affect the entire image. If I move this back and forth, it is the entire image. Let's just reset that. So we need to clip this to the hand group. Now to do that, bring your cursor between the two, press the Alt or the Option key, and you'll notice that little square with that downward facing arrow. Older versions of Photoshop, it'd be like a little paper clip. Click on that. It has now clipped it with our hand group. Double click on this. You can see the way that histogram has changed. You can make it brighter or darker. And this, don't forget, is it's affecting the hand and that thumb that I took onto that new layer. Just gonna make it a little bit brighter into that area. That looks pretty good. Right, let's go back down to an adjustment layer. The adjustment layer I want to use this time is Photo Filter because I want to give it a little bit of warmth. You can see once again that's, uh, yeah, that's doing the entire image. So let's come up, bring your cursor between the two, press Alt or Option. There's that symbol again. Clicking down, that's now grouped it. And if we just double click, I'm going to change the filter type there to, uh, let's go to Warm 81. That tends to be my favorite and just matching the warmth of the image because it was taken you know, relatively late in the evening so there's just a little bit of warmth there coming into the image itself so just trying to match that in don't forget these are adjustment layers so you can come back you can make adjustments to the entire picture and as always I'd recommend putting the picture aside leaving it and you know then reviewing it with fresh eyes make any any adjustments then you want to make okay perhaps something you might like to try with the top layer selected I'm going to come down to the old photo I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard we're going to click on this so now all the layers and that group are now selected using command T control T we get that warning once again and you can just twist the entire picture around so you can recompose it lifting it into an area like that double click into apply and there it is, job done. You'll notice that smart filter coming back into place. Just clicking down, there it is. We've no longer got any layers selected. But go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it is happy imaging, and take care.